Hey Harland area and greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Joshua Johnson. I'm a pastor and a member of the Heartland Area TCAT, and I'm excited to announce that the TCAT has passed a new vision statement and a new value statement. I'm going to cover the value statement in another video, but in this video, I want to share with you the new vision statement, as well as statements that were crafted about the President Pro Tem and the presiding elders that came from your answers from the visioning questionnaire. We wanted to make sure to let you know that we heard you and that we took the time to reflect and pray to see what God was calling the annual conference to be and what you all need the conference to be. Here is our new vision statement. The Heartland Annual Conference desires to become a gospel-driven expression of Methodism that embodies servant leadership, equips laity, exhorts churches, and encourages clergy. We believe this statement encompasses all the answers that you gave us and we received so many great answers and they were consistent all across the entire area. So we knew that God was talking. You may also remember that we asked you about the present pro tem and the presiding elder positions. These two positions we know will be important in fulfilling the vision and be filled with persons you can trust to support and serve the local church. Let me also share with you the statements we crafted from your answers about those two positions. First, the president pro tem. The quality of the president pro tem will be one who not only provides spiritual depth and insight, but is also approachable and is present for the churches of the Heartland Annual Conference. This person will be the chief servant and chief cheerleader for the conference. He or she will have an outward mindset that promotes the gospel, coordinates the building and strengthening of churches, and develops leaders. This spiritual leader will not exhibit selfish ambition and will embody servant leadership. I think the TCAT released a really good statement that encompasses the main things that we need from a president pro tem. This was achieved by listening to God and to you. Now on to the presiding elders. The quality of the presiding elder will be one who is a spiritual leader who encourages, inspires, and nurtures the churches and clergy under his or her care. The clergy and churches of the Heartland Annual Conference call for the presiding elder to be regularly present in person and online and be able to provide coaching, mentoring, and training to help them be successful. This person will be able to stand on the balcony as the missional strategist, but also be on the floor to join the dance of daily ministry. This person should love he or he, she serves and what he or she does. Again, all these were crafted from your answers to the visioning questionnaire. As a reminder, in the next video, I will share with you guys the value statement that also came from your answers that covers the things we value most and how the annual conference should operate and serve the local church. Let us know what you think about the vision statement and the statements about the president pro tem and the presiding elders. Take care and God bless.